Hey, Caden. Um, last night, Shaman said to y'all that you can't get it back. It is what it is. Um, but it's important that you learn something from it. Now that you've had the time to reflect and watch film, what are you personally taking from this? Um, you know, something the uh, coaches stress, um, the leaders are stressed, and then uh, just watching the film is evident. Um, in our details, um, in the little things of technique, you know, um, I think it's something that can often get lost as you get into, um, the, you know, the routine of the season because now you're focusing so much of your time at practice and in meetings on the people you're playing next. You focus so much time on um, what they do, how they do it, how we have to react to it, and you start to think a little less about. Um, what you do and why you do it well, and the little steps, the little things with the hands, um, the little things communication-wise, um, those details and that, and that small, um, minute uh, technique, um, it can get overlooked. And I think, um, I know personally, there were some things that I did in this last game that, you know, when we're back in training camp, I wouldn't have let happen because every day I was focused on me. Um, I was focused on how I got to get better. And I think that's something you can't lose. And, um, I know that's something when you watch the greats, it's something that they never lose. So uh, I think us as a team, me personally, that's something that um, we saw in the film and, and we're going to get fixed. Luke? Hey, Caden, uh, being completely honest, I haven't gotten all the way through seeing this game a second time yet, but it just, it seemed like the second half, there wasn't uh, there wasn't as much uh, pressure on, on Jones um, and he was able to kind of connect on some big plays. Hey, was there anything different about about those two halves of football that that allowed him to to kind of just have more clean pockets and and some more time to make plays? Yeah, I think they made some adjustments on uh, how they were picking up our games. Um, it's almost like they were letting our uh, rappers go um, and just knocking the penetrators, which obviously gives them a second more. Now someone's coming to hit him, and I think on a bunch of the big plays that he threw, you know, Ringo's right there in his face, Cam's right there in his face, but he had just enough time. Um, and his receivers had just enough time to get open. So, um, you know, something we'll look at and uh, dive into more. But, um, uh, you know, as a, as coverage and pressure, we work together. Um, we got to be able to get there quick and they got to uh, make them hold it just long enough for us. And, and, and everybody sees it when we, were, when we are working together and we're on the same page. It's a um, pretty nasty combo. So we'll, we'll be sure to get back to that. Mike? Caden, were there any one or two? elements that that stuck out even more after you watched the tape that 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 really sort of stuck in your craw as something that was uncharacteristic for you guys down the stretch um i think it goes back to you know amy's first question too just the the little things details um i mean every position group and every player could name what theirs was um on defense on offense on special teams um and for me to try to you know name a bunch of them would, would be tough just because I mean, every group has it. Um, so, um, I mean, really, I think that's what it is, is, is the details of um, our job and doing your job and, and trusting your teammates to do their job. And then uh, our technique, um, my technique, just every time, every play, no matter what the offense is doing, um, going through what you work on every single day at practice, what you work on every day of the off season to get ready, uh, making sure that that doesn't get lost in uh, the heat of battle. Amy? Yeah, during training camp, you're one of the guys that stays on the field the longest working on those little things. Is that something that you're going to be doing again um, moving forward this week? Like, how do you balance, you know, trying to prepare for Washington, but also knowing that you personally have some things that you need to clean up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you know, that is a, a balancing game because you get, uh, obviously, you're in season, so you got to spend more time now with uh, – rehab and treatment and being proactive in that. Um, you got to spend obviously a lot more time preparing for a new opponent. Um, and then like we were talking about, you don't want to lose um, what got you to the point where you're at and your technique. Um, so yeah, I mean, definitely after practice, maybe buying some time before practice. Um, and I'm a big visualization guy. Like I believe you can uh, trick the mind or to the body into thinking that it went through another rep um, by sitting and visualizing it. So. Um, I think that's just, you know, something that I uh, 
I'm going to do and I'm going to work on and um, try to balance the time throughout the day and um, also be a great dad and husband and brother and all the other things I get to be in this uh, in this world. Um, but finding time to do those little things that will pay dividends for us in this team in this city, um, so we can go get some more wins. Yeah, this uh, defense, as uh, Demario and several of your leaders said yesterday, y'all take a lot of pride in being a strong asset for this team. So how frustrating was that yesterday? Um, just knowing that your leaders uh, took some of the blame for this. Yeah, that's tough. It's really tough because obviously they're the head of this all, um, but it's me and all the other guys um, with them and, and uh, the guys, you know, behind them trying to push them and, and help this team um, be elite uh, by having an elite defense. And, I think we were up 11 with seven minutes left. And that's not something that's not, it should never come out as an L in that situation. So, um, you know, that hurts. And I think that's what makes this loss pretty painful. Um, but it's something that if used correctly can motivate us. It's something that if used correctly um, can push us. And um, we just got to learn our lessons now and, and uh, allow ourselves to get some wins rolling like we have every year since I've been here. And even the years before that, um, to start letting them rack up by uh, by doing the little things right and, and by holding each other accountable um, and by letting it hurt a little bit because I think that will push us. So 